everybody, it's Kathy, and I'm back with a review of the Too Faced Nikki Tutorials palette. Last week, I posted a quick swatch video to show some comparisons with the Everything Nice palette. So now I'm going to talk about my opinions of this palette. So I've had this for about a week or two. I've been playing with it every day. This is what the palette looks like. Uh, it's about a 4 by 6 palette, very travel friendly. The only problem, like if you travel, there's not a magnetic closure, so you'll have to kind of maybe keep it in a box. When you open it up, there's nine shadows, two blushes, and a highlighter and a bronzer. Um, four mattes, you have a like a beige, a medium brown, dark brown, and a black. Then you have one, two, three glitters, and two kind of like duochromes, I would say. And um, you have two blushes. Now these are in the standard, um, not the standard. These are in the blush palette. And then you have the chocolate bronzer and the highlighter. Now I can never wear this color because it's so similar to my skin tone, um, but I can use a highlighter. Also included is this makeup pouch and it has like little accessories in there. There's a Too Faced uh, Mini Better Than Sex Mascara. There's a shadow insurance. There's a full size uh, eyeliner or felt tip marker. And then there's also a glitter dust. So when I first uh, got the palette, I opened it up, swatched it. I was a little disappointed because as I was swatching it, I was like, oh, these colors look super familiar. So I ran and grabbed my Everything Nice palette and the colors are extremely similar. Too Faced, they kind of have like a, their own style. And that's probably uh, like what drew me to the Everything Nice palette and what drew me to the Nikki palette. So unfortunately, a lot of the colors were really similar to the Everything Nice palette. So I was a little, I was a little salty at first. I was like, oh, no, that's not gonna work. What are y'all doing? Y'all need to try it again. Uh, like, I didn't know how I felt about the palette until I started like using it. Also included in this kit is a, like a little lookbook or a glamour guide and she shows you how to do three different looks. Now, um, last weekend I went out and I tried this first look and I'll include a clip of it so you guys can see how that turned out. And I thought it turned out pretty good. Um, she also has like a kind of a goth look. Uh, I didn't try that. And today I tried Glitter is the New Black. So I tried this look today and she sold me on this kit these tutorials because they are pretty easy to follow now i would consider myself kind of like a beginner intermediate i'm like nowhere near as advanced as she is and my makeup didn't turn out as flawless as hers i was able to get a general similar look um to what she was able to achieve just using the steps in this booklet so that kind of sold me on this kit i wish she would have had like 10 tutorials if possible in here uh, because sometimes you get these shadows and they're pretty to look at but at least i do i have sometimes have no idea how to to put them together to create a look and that's what sold me on this because i was able to create at least two looks potentially were to work with a little change so yeah so she sold me on this. so i do like this kit I just hate that there's so many similarities to the um, the Everything Nice palette. So that's my review of this kit. First impressions was I did not like it, but now I'm pretty happy <laughs> with it. So after I've used it, played with it, tried some of her examples in here, I think they turned out pretty good. I think it's pretty good for a beginner. I think it's fun for a teen or a tween or just a young lady who likes makeup or who, who collects makeup. If they're a Nikki fan, definitely run out and get this for them. I think they will love it. Uh, I think it's travel friendly. It's pretty small. If you pack everything up, you can pack everything up in this kit and take the kit with you and you'll have everything that you need like for a makeup look except your foundation. So I think it's a pretty good value uh, for the money with the things that you get. It's just unfortunately a lot of them are similar colors that you may have like, in your palette already. That's our review of this palette. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.